Hello guys and dolls. So today we are doing a tutorial that I'm calling Tinker Hell. It's sort of a twist on the traditional concept of Tinkerbell, which is light and airy and sweet and very la 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 Disney princess. This is taking that concept of Tinkerbell and flipping it on its head. It still kept the theme of green, but I added in a lot of black, obviously black lips. I didn't have hair long enough to like do it up in her butt or whatever so I kind of came up with this idea that like maybe she shaved after her head you know maybe she finally got over Peter and was like I'm gonna do my own thing yes I'm wearing blackout contact lenses they don't completely cover the iris of my eye so I'm able to see but whenever I blink they move and then it, it feels like there is an extra like eyelid thing there it's very very weird I will link the seller of the contact lenses in the down bar I think I only paid like 20 bucks for the pair or something not too bad I had so much fun creating this look for you I hope that you guys will enjoy the tutorial as always I'll have a full list of products uh, and photos and everything on my vlog so if you want to look in the down bar for the link I think that's pretty much it if you would like to learn how I created this look then let's get started All that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start with our base. This is a concealer from MAC. Uh, it's one of the Studio Sculpt. If you don't have this, you could just use any kind of sticky concealer or NYX Jumbo Pencil, whatever. The shadows that we're using today aren't exactly the best quality and they do need a little help in the oomph department, so this is going to give it that oomph. We're going to use some tape. This is my awesome tape dispenser. I get a lot of questions about where I got this. It was a gift, but I think you can get it at Staples. Place the scotch tape on some skin before you put it on your eye, because this will make it a little less sticky so that it's not hardcore, like stuck on, you don't like rip off your eye or whatever. I like to map it out by kind of dragging it up from my nose. Now I'm going to use my 120 palette. Mine is from Beauty's Factory. Some of them say Manly, some of them say BH Cosmetics. Some of them have no label at all. It's all the exact same palette. It's the 120 original palette. They're all the exact same thing. It's a cheap eyeshadow palette that's made in China. I decided to use this because a lot of people already have this. Uh, it's not high quality makeup, but it'll work. You know, it's not something that you have to buy, like, very expensive makeup to enjoy. This is the color layout so it's one that's like this and like this. So we're going to use on the third row we're going to use a combination of this green and this darker green and with that we're going to mix in a little bit of this very dark gray and a little bit of this black. It doesn't really matter. I think these blacks are identical so it doesn't really matter. So the gray and the black and the green. Mix it all together. Pick some of the gray up, pick some of the darker green up, Alright, get some of that on our brush, and then we're just going to sweep that over from the tape. We're really, really packing that color on. And then as you need to, add more. And for now, you can keep this line really straight, you can curve it, whatever it is that you're going to end up wanting to do with it. Getting a little dark, so I'm taking some of the bright green that's next to the darker green. Go in with a blending brush. I'm really choking up on that brush, really holding it close so you have lots of control. And just blending the two together. And then just softly blending on that edge. Alright, so now in the inner corner, I'm just taking a little bit of the Wet n Wild Cream Shadow Pencil. The shade is Envy. These aren't that great, to be completely honest with you. They will crease if you don't have an eyeshadow base on, so that's something to keep in mind. We're going to go to that next row down, and we're going to use, I guess I'll use one that's closer to the speckled shadow, if that makes sense to you if you have this palette, on that same shader that I just used to blend out the cream, and just pat that on. It's just a shimmery green with almost like a silvery, goldish kind of sheen to it. Alright, so now I have this outer edge that needs to be blended out a bit, so I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Greed Palette. This sh The shade in here looks like Brulee from MAC. I'm placing that first on my under brow, and then I'm going to slowly start sneaking it down, because these greens have a tendency to really travel well. Um, so, I'm going to use side to side to blend them out. They don't have a lot of cling, is I guess the term that I'm looking for. 
Now I want to enhance the darkness out here and the placement of this is really really important so we're going to do a little I'm going to try to explain this the best as I can. So it's almost like a little triangle or the beginning of a triangle here uh, that we want to darken. So if we use like the finger as like an example, you want to place the color right here in this corner and then just fan it out in all directions from there. And let's pick up the black and you're going to place it right there and then you're going to flick it up and all around. So now I'm just blending this out with that same fluffy brush we used earlier, but I'm using it from the end so it's nice and light when I'm blending it. What I wanted to mention is that because it's not a concentrated uh, center of black and there's no cut crease, there's no specific line where it is, it just gives it sort of a velvety look. It's pretty cool. Alright, so now I'm going to start on the under eye. I'm taking this pencil from Steely Style. The shade of it is called Emerald. Honestly, this is going to get covered up. This is just to kind of add a layer for it to stick to. So, um, I'm just drawing that on the bottom. Nothing, ooh, tickle. Nothing fancy or, you know, rhyme or reason. The main thing is that I'm just dragging it from here and taking it to meet my tear duct. Alright, and then over that I'm going to use the same color that we used for the lid here. Just go over it. And then just take a little bit of the black and then blend that in to the eye as well. Alrighty, so we really don't need the tape from this point on, so we're going to go ahead and remove it. Slowly and carefully so it doesn't hurt. I'm taking a MAC wipe and I'm going to clean this up by just dragging it along my eye. And for me, I'm I'm stopping the color like right where, if I were to like squint my eyes where my eye has that bulge or whatever, I don't know how to explain that. I'm basically stopping it where my eye bags are. That way it gives it that really enhanced creepy look when you do this. So, whatever. If we keep trying to wipe away, we're just going to make a mess of everything. So if you just take the wipe, place it and drag the makeup away gets it off without actually disturbing what you've done now I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to pull it from where I have the darker shadows and just run it along to make that transition a bit smoother and less like a straight line. So next comes liner. I'm using Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in zero. You can use whatever uh, tight line product works for you. To line the top lid, I'm just taking a flat push liner brush and just patting some black right against my lashes. In previous versions of this, I actually left that with no liner. It looked really creepy, so if you're going for like a really, really creepy kind of look, then skip the liner altogether. Alright, so now to add a glam factor to this whole thing. Mmm, delicious! This is glitterous! Yoda, it's called! Mmm! Okay. <laughs> anyway, so to apply the glitter today, I'm going to use something different. This is the La Splash or LA Splash Glitter... Glitter Sealer Base Proof something. Whatever. I've had it for a while and I've never used it for glitter. So I'm just patting that on my lid and then I'm going to stick my finger in Yoda. <laughs> oh, that sounds nasty. And just pat that on. With my finger I'm just blending the glitter all over the whole eye. I, I imagine that most of this glitter will fall out, but that way I just have a little bit of sparkle all over. And just in case I didn't mention it, the glitter that we used is from Lit Cosmetics. So I do have a bit of glitter on my face and I don't want to just keep using a wipe on my skin to get glitter off because it's not very effective in any case. Um, so I'm taking the scotch tape and 
excellent glitter remover if you weren't already in the know. All right, so I have all my foundation on and I applied some false lashes. I used Red Cherry 110s. I cut them down so they didn't come in as far on the inner part and then I used the part that I cut off to enhance this little outer edge so I have very, very full flirtiness going on at the outer edge. And I'm gonna take some very black mascara to uh, kind of make the false lashes blend in with my natural lashes a little bit better. So now for the final touch with the eyes, I'm going to take the Sigma E30 in with the green pink duochrome from the Sebastian Trucco palette. If you have the e.l.f. eyeshadow transformer palette, you could use that or any other light green shimmery thingy highlight color type thing. Anyway, I'm just taking that right on this inner corner, slightly blending it below the eye and into the eyeshadow on the top. Love it! Okay, and then we're going to use it again. We're going to highlight the cheek. Uh, what we're going to do with the palette is we're just going to take a you know fluffy blending brush. This is a Sigma uh, 50 or F05, whatever. Take it, stripe it down, and then use it to highlight the face. Use this a nice ethereal glow. Another thing that you could have done is mix a little bit of a shimmering powder in with your foundation, but honestly I didn't think of it. Alright, now that my primer is set, I'm going to use a eyeliner as a lip liner. This is MAC's Graph Black Technical Liner. And I'm just going to line out my lips. So I do the cupid's bow first. I'm going to come out from this outer corner. Alright, and then on the bottom you can start at the center part of the lip or the outer corner. I find for me or it's easier for me to go from the outer corner, so that's what I'm going to do. You can drag some color into the center part of the lip if you wish. So now I'm taking OCC's Lip Tar in Tard, and I'm applying that with a small concealer brush. You can use a lip brush, you know, whatever whatever suits your fancy darling. Uh, I will say that this did bleed on my lips quite a bit, in fact pretty badly, um, but I do think that I overused it. I'm there, I've am there. i only had these for like a week or so, so I'm, I'm still getting used to using them. Alright, and that is the complete look. I took my hair down. The poof didn't really work for Tinkerbell, I don't think, even though this isn't exactly, you know, your standard issue Tinkerbell. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a fabulous, fabulous time creating it for you. Again, I love Tinkerbell and um, kind of takes me back to my goth days, so. <laughs> As always, you guys, I'll have a full list of products and, um, uh, you know, high quality photos for you on my blog, so I'll have that link in the down bar for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and don't hesitate to subscribe. It's free and it means the world to me. Anyway, have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky or Tinkerbell or Tinker Hell. Just be yourself. Bye. There you go, now you know. The more you know! Alright guys, so the first thing that I've done is I've applied moisturizer all over my... Wow, I'm, I'm a real winner with words today. Glitter all over my face. Ooh, let me just throw things. Oh, I poked myself in the eye. Holy sh**.